Okay, we are up to page number two, which is actually short. Example number one lists for me a set of five points. The first point is two comma three. The second point is four comma six. The third point is five comma negative one. The fourth point is three comma two. And the fifth point is one comma six. All right, part A says, determine whether or not example one is a function and justify your answer. So the way you determine if it's a function when you're looking at a list of points is you focus your eyes on the x values only. If the x values do not repeat, then it is definitely a function. So the answer is yes, and the reason why is because the x values do not repeat. So it is a function if the x values do not repeat. Okay, part B, determine the domain of example number one. Now, when they want to know the domain, you're really just giving a list of the x values and you put them in wavy braces, but you list them in numerical order. So the x values, I see a one, there's an x value that is two, there's an x value that is three, there's an x value that is four, and there is an x value that is five. And that's how you write the domain. When it comes to part C, it says, determine the range of example one. The range is the set of all y values, but you're gonna put them in numerical order and don't do any repeats. So the lowest y value is negative one, then I see a two, then I see a three, but then I see a six. And even though it repeats twice, you only write it down once inside the set. Now, we're up to example two. And example two looks a little bit different than example one because they give you these two ovals. In the first oval, they list the numbers 10, three, five, seven, and two. In the second oval, they list two, three, four, seven, and five. But what they do is they draw arrows from the first circle into the second circle. What they are showing you is another way to display a relation. This represents the set of the point 10, 2, the point 3, 3, the point 5, 4, the point 5, 7, the point seven five and the point two five. So that diagram represents six points. Part A says determine whether or not example two is a function and justify your answer. And all you have to do is look at the X values. If the x values do not repeat, then it's a function, but they repeat. So it's automatically not a function because the x values repeat. Okay, part B says, what is the domain? When you're going for the domain, you list 
the x values in order from smallest to largest, but you do not do any repeats. So the smallest x value is 2, and then I see a 3. I see a 5, and even though it's written twice, you only write it once when you're listing the domain. I see a 7 and a 10. Those are the elements of the domain. Those are the x values. When they ask you to figure out what the range is, same concept, except you're only going to list the y values, which are the second number in each parenthesis. So in order, I see a 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. And remember, don't repeat those y's at the end. They're the same. You only list them once. And that is the end of page 2.